here's the contents you get hardware the actual shifter body you get the gasket for the tunnel the tripod set up is this piece and these two and then the main shaft of the shifter oh you get a five horsepower sticker and then some directions that say go online to get directions inside we're gonna start by removing the shift knob remove this little plastic tray now we're gonna take these side panels off so just give a nice pull and it should pop off on both sides and come out just like that Use a seven millimeter socket and remove these two from both sides of the center console. Now we're just gonna lift up <clears throat> on the center console from here and it will unclip all the way across and then uh, it'll just lift up and then we'll have electric connectors in the center area and I'll show you that here in a second. So what I did to pop it loose was I put the panel popper in this slot and then I used the panel popper to help push straight up in the air and it came unclipped. See the other side's unclipped? So once you do that, then you can work it all the way to the front. So you see those two wires? You're just gonna unclip both of those that are connected to the wiring harness down there. Unclip those. Now you can see these little fingers. These little fingers hold the, um, the boot lever and all that stuff. It holds it to this clip here. So we need to pull these little uh, fingers and then lift this out. Once you get it unclipped, you just pull it out and then you can get the center console out of the car. Pull up the insulation put this off to the side for now now we're gonna pull the rubber boot gonna put, just lift it up like so all the way around until it fully disconnects all the way around like so we're actually gonna pull this boot all the way off and we're going to reuse this one on the new shifter. Using a T20 Torx bit, remove this screw right here. You're going to grab this little block, this screw, and uh, thread it in to where it just started. Then we're going to slide this over the shifter to push out that roll pin. So to get this roll pin out, you're going to pull down on the spring, set this tool down, and then we're going to tighten down the 7 millimeter bolt and it will push the roll pin right out. Once you screw this in far enough, make sure you catch the roll pin on the, outs on the back side and then set this off to the side. Then at this point you're going to remove this bolt and take the tool off. Now the last two steps up top, pull the spring, pull the reverse lockout deal, and now we're going to go under the car. You're going to use an extension and a deep well 10 millimeter socket, and you're going to remove the two nuts that hold the back of the shifter to the top of the, to the car. The bracket is going to still stay up there because it has this little metal square BS bracket thing uh, holding on the screw so just pull down until it pops off and then we're gonna pull this off the back of the shifter this is the piece that makes it difficult to pull down because these metal tabs are like hooked on the grooves of the threads so we're never gonna use this again throw it in the trash this is the old bracket 
we're not going to use this anymore because we're using the tripod setup. Since I'm a fat bitch, I'm going to make my life easier. I don't like the way Barton's doing it. It's too compact and too big. Uh, it's a mess. So anyways, taking off these two, and I'm going to remove the four here to pull this off so the transmission will come down a little bit and make my life a lot easier. Use a 10 millimeter with a swivel, an extension, and take off the four screws, two on this side, two on the other side. You're gonna pull this boot back, and then you're gonna pull the bottom half of this shifter assembly deal that you just unbolted. You're gonna pull it off. Well, I'm gonna have to get a flathead or something. Mine's not wanting to come off. So this is the bottom piece. You'll get this off, and then we'll go to the next step. Inside, there's gonna be two 10 millimeters. There's one here and one on the other side. Take those two out, and those hold in the pivot cup. Once those two are out, then the shifter will be loose. So now, just push up on the body and wiggle the shifter out and pull it out the bottom of the car. At the top of the transmission on the passenger side, use a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench and take out this bolt. This is the bolt you're gonna pull out of the top of the transmission. I had to pull down on my transmission in order to slide it all the way out without hitting the floorboard. All right, you're gonna pull this part out of the transmission. Once you have the bolt out, then you're gonna shove it up through the shifter hole in the floorboard and pull it out from the inside of the car. Since we're using the tripod shifter part, use these button head Allen screws, lock washers, and you're gonna plug both of these holes. Go ahead. Just take the six bolts out so you can get this piece all by itself. Then we're gonna reuse the bolt that went to the uh, top, top part of the shifter area. And we're gonna put this over and screw it down. To get the top piece in, we had to come in through the top, bring the donkey dick part down in here till we cleared the back of the shifter then put the back of the shifter back that way and then brought the front across and then put that 10 millimeter bolt in up there and then we lined up there's little channels and little metal grooves you line those up pull down on the top of the body and then uh, make sure it's all seated and now we can deal with the bottom part. Once you have the bottom plate on and all the grooves it should fit nice. You shouldn't have to force it to close. It should pretty much just close no problem. Use your 11 millimeter socket on a swivel and uh, you're gonna have to push push this thing left and right to do the different ones and whatever. Anyways just go all the way around and tighten all six of them. Now we're gonna remove this 15 and this 15 millimeter bolt. All right, after you pull those two 15s out, you're gonna grab this block. There's gonna be a larger cutout on this side that's hitting, uh, mounted to the transmission that's gonna have a bigger step. The little step goes out. Then you put the washer with the long bolts on each side and then tighten these down. Now we do these arms. One of them says driver. So that'll obviously be on the driver's side. And both of these adjustment tightening bolt deals are gonna face to the back of the car. And just make sure the O-ring on the top part uh, doesn't fall out. You need those in there. To mount the top of the side supports, you're gonna use the gold bolts, the gold lock washers, and a 916 socket and you're just gonna thread them in as far as you can by hand first and then tighten them down. Now that the top's tight, come down here and we're gonna tighten these. Last part down here, bolt this piece back up and now everything else is gonna get taken care of from above. First, take those two springs, put them in there, then you take these things I don't know what they're called. Anyways, you just put those on top of the springs. 
spread around the grease that's in there. Make sure this thing is perfectly straight. I just put all four of the screws, make sure this is straight. And then you're gonna make sure this is facing the driver's side, which also means that these two grooves where the springs go will line up. And we're just gonna sort of wiggle, 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 and just keep wiggling it. Once everything's uh, slotted in and tightened down, you want to make sure it goes into gear easy. So just pull a little bit to first. Should go in. And then pull all the way where it hits hard against this metal piece. And make sure it still goes in. If it doesn't, then this top plate you can loosen and it'll wiggle a little bit to uh, adjust that. Now, take the O-ring off your stock that was on your stock shifter in this little white piece and the little white piece has a bevel on the bottom you want the bevel to touch the o-ring you just push it all the way down like that so we're going to take this floppy rubber piece now install this so what you're going to do oh my nose itches what you're going to do is put this side down it should fit in the grooves one way or the other Ooh, it's so tight. It's like a chondom. Then, there's a split in the middle, so you're gonna push it down, and the split is gonna go on the other side of the sheet metal. Yeah. Like that. So you're gonna work it all the way around, the split, till you get it in. And once you get it all in, then you'll push it down all the way around and it should sit flush. Now it's sitting flat and it's sandwiched all the way around. So we're good. So there's an arrow on the top on both sides. That's gonna go front to back. So one should point at your radio and one should point at your cup holders. Then you stretch the bottom to where it goes with the arrow front to back. The Bottom goes around the metal part of the shifter, and then you pull this part down here to wrap around the white. You're gonna zip tie it below the ridge to hold it, then you're gonna take your dikes. These are called dikes. The reason they're called dikes is because they're diagonal cutters, so diag cutters, dikes. Anyways. There's a groove here on the white one. You'll know when it fits in because it, it just sort of slides in, it's perfect. So just make sure that the top part of this is in that groove. We're gonna take some needle nose and we're gonna pop out the chrome bezel from here. So you just squeeze the things and then push it through. You gotta do all of them first. And then it should just fall right out. Bloop. Take a big flathead, jam it in here, twist sideways, move, jam it in, twist sideways. Just do this all the way around. And then it breaks the glue around to get this out. Now you're gonna slowly jam your thumb in here and peel the boot off of this plastic thing and get it all off. So this is a stock one that was in here. The foam, you just put the arrow to the firewall and you just start packing and packing and packing and it will fit. And then I punctured the two posts here that was going through here. I just punctured them through to give it a nice hold. Now, you have it like this. We got the O-ring, that little plastic piece that we'll put, and what we're doing is we're gonna push this down till it clicks. Once it's clicked in, 
you'll be able to go into reverse. Now, replace your center console, I'll click it all in, and then we're going to take our shifter bracket, pop that in, put the boot however you like it. Put these four seven millimeter screws on both sides again. Pop the side panels back on both sides. Screw back on the shift knob. And line up your shifter lettering. Make sure your reverse lockout works. We're good. And we're finally done. I want to cry. That wasn't very fun.